Hello, I'm Allie LaPere, and today I'm going to show you how I blend using the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. For this tutorial, you're going to need the N89, it's a really light gray color dual brush pen, as well as a variety of dual brush pen colors. Uh, the best, easiest way to get colors that will go together as far as blending, um, the best way to do that is just pick out a palette to work with. Um, all of the Tombow 10 packs, they're designed to kind of go together, all the colors. You're also going to need really smooth paper in order to get the best blends. Uh, my favorite paper, it's the Canson XL marker paper. Um, this paper is pretty, pretty lightweight. It's kind of the best bang for your buck as far as um, smooth marker paper goes. There's a hundred sheets in here. Um, this I use more for kind of practicing and pieces that I make just for fun. The other paper that I like is the Strathmore Bristol. Um, it's the Smooth Surface Bristol. And this one is, you know, it's it's more expensive, you know, per sheet. There's only 20 sheets in here, but it's a thicker paper. It's 100 pound instead of 18 pound. So yeah, quite a bit thicker. I use this paper mainly for, um, projects that I'm either making as like a commission type deal or projects that I give away as gifts. All right, to start, I'm going to do just a really simple little leaf doodle. Something anybody can draw. I'm doing that with that N89. This is a really, really light gray, neutral color, and that's going to be the foundation of our blend. So in that secondary palette, there's the 885, that's a red color, and the yellow color is a 993. And I'm going to use both of these to make my blend. Now right over top of the gray color, I'm gonna go on this part here, the top part of the shape, and I'm going to lay down red ink with some light feathery downstrokes. I'm just gonna color in lightly, not quite getting about halfway through. And I'm gonna switch over to the 993 and I'm going to drag that red color down with the yellow color. Now having that gray shape there kind of helps me stay in the lines. And because the Tombow dual brush pens are self-cleaning, the red ink is going to kind of um, flush itself out of this yellow marker as I use it. And I'll show you kind of an example of that here in a couple minutes. So just continuing filling in the rest of the shape. And again, this is the Canson XL marker paper. Very, very smooth. And there we have it, that's the blend. Now how we do the self-cleaning stuff, basically we just lay down red ink or dark ink. We go over it with the lighter color. And you see that first stroke has lots of red ink in it, but as I, use the yellow marker, the red ink kind of just cleans itself out of there. Now the shapes that you make can be as simple or as complex as you'd like. I'm going to show you just a couple of the shapes that I used for my um, finished project that I'm going to show you here at the end. Um, I use just a couple lines really basic leaf shapes coming out of them. Do kind of just your basic little flower shape, a different flower shape, different amount of petals. Um, that leaf shape obviously, and then kind of a different 
shape leaf here. And I always like to use little, you know, circles just to kind of fill in some of the negative space. Um, you can also do some really basic hand lettering. Um, the most easy way to do this is start by just drawing the shape that you want. So this is kind of like the foundation of the letter. Really, really easy. And then all you have to do is add some weight to it. Like so. And then we can do our uh, blends just right over top, just like we did with the leaf. Uh, this time I'm going to pick, uh, let's do, let's do the six, seven, nine. It's like a dark purple and five, three, three. It's like a real nice light blue. Okay, on a final note, I just wanted to go through some of the palettes that you can get from Tombow um, on Blick's website. Gray scale, just all the different gray tones, portrait, it's all kind of skin tones in there, pastel, bright, that's one of my favorites. These are great for blending if you're into all those bright colors. Primary, galaxy, um, some of the ones I had examples for have landscape here, kind of greens and blues and some, you know, grays, so I think a couple browns in there, um, muted and secondary. Obviously that was the one that we were using in the demonstration today. So the sky's kind of the limit when it comes to color choices. I mean, you can even buy individual colors. I think there are 108 of them. Um, but really, you don't need much. You basically just need, well, I think you need N89. This one's maybe my favorite brush pen of all. Um, just to get, you know, something down on the page that you can blend on top of. And just picking one palette, you're gonna be able to get a lot of really beautiful results. So whether you're making finished pieces like this one or, you know, larger ones like this one, and whether you're doing it with one palette or, you know, different palettes, you are able to make some really lovely things just with this simple technique. It really, really all starts with what we did here. Thank you all for checking out this tutorial today. Make sure to look at the Blick website for Tombow's full line of dual brush pens, and I'll see you next time. Bye!